Okay, it's going. It's being so weird, my laptop. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Young Tyler here. This is attempt three at recording a video tonight. Just been having a hard time. And my computer is being terrible. I think you guys can see it. Hello. Yeah. It's my girlfriend, Marissa. I don't know which way to point. It's your dog, Callie. It's beautiful. So I'm just testing the freaking frames again. I don't know why they're being like this. Um, anyways, forget me and just look at this video. So, as you all know, Colossus and Old Man Logan just got their buffs, finally. You know what that means? It means we get to test them out, because I've been sitting on this rank 2 Colossus for a long time. So, I mean, I guess we can bring that in, why not? And we'll bring in the Juggernaut one. And then is there crits? Yeah, there's crits. And then we'll bring in some crits. So, Colossus was a pretty trash champion in the past. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But with these buffs, he's not half bad at all. He's not half bad at all. He actually hits pretty hard. So we're going to see what that looks like here in the Winter Soldier fight. So that Fury you see at the beginning, it's only because I have the Old Man Logan uh, synergy going on. There we go. So that's the that's what you want to do with Colossus. I watched a few videos of my own, so I can kind of see what's new about him. But what you want to do is... Um, you want to build up your armors, because that's where a lot of your damage comes from, is like how many armor stacks you have. So to do that the best way is, if you have Omega, you just... you pick, Okay, I'm a scrub, I got slapped right there, but... If you, uh... If you parry, you get one. Throw the special, I'm sorry, the heavy. And then you go into a special too. When you throw the heavy, if they're stunned when you throw the heavy, they get, um... You get a fury buff. He's not playing very aggressive on me. But you see how I'm stacking at 15 now? It's because you gain plus 5 on the special too. And it's kind of risky trying to throw the heavy after like hitting into a medium. Like right here. And then going for it. Like you can get it. You can definitely get it as you saw. But sometimes you might miss. So it's kind of safe to just kind of go for the heavy. But of course you get more damage by hitting a medium first. So here. That was a perfect combo. 6,000 on that heavy. I'm sorry, that special at the end. But watch when we get up to like in the mid 20s, low 30s for armor. It's gonna get like pretty, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, there we go. Keep going. Sometimes the AI just doesn't play into you very much, so that's kind of annoying. But we're getting it. We're going. <laughs> Callie's being mean, apparently. Okay, that notification screwed me. So go in. 26. I think it gave us 10 right there, actually. Not 5. Yeah, I have to read up on his things again just to see exactly what's going on. But all I know is you gain a bunch of armor stacks when you throw a special 2. So... There we go. So 4,000 and 10,000 off that second heavy. Well, he almost got me. 4,000, 2,000, but 10. You saw the crit of 10 earlier. Oof. So yeah, as you can see, he hits pretty hard. <laughs> 33. No crits? No crits? Okay, 20,000 crit right there. Off the end of that special too. If you had crits all the way through on that, it would be insane. So we're getting up to low 30s. Come on. Kelly, what are you whining for? She literally staring at you and whining. She just wants attention. She just wants my attention? Sorry, mama. Come on. So we have 19 permanents right now. I don't know what the max stack is, to be honest. But, you know, we're hitting pretty hard with it. He's just not playing into me like at all. All right, here we go. 29. Big crits. Oh, if that last one was a crit, that'd have been a huge. So now he's down to 39%. I'm not quite. I mean, the timing right now it's taking a while, but it's also because I'm playing kind of bad. So it's a combo of both. 
and the AI is being really like defensive and not aggressive at all. So when the AI is more aggressive, it actually benefits us, I think. There's just more parries more often that you can get your specials. Callie, be quiet. Thank you. I don't know why you gotta whine about stuff. You weren't raised like that. Alright, here we go. 34. Ooh, huge! You guys see that? That was like a 30,000 total combo. That was crazy. But, like, at the end of the day, there are champions that hit a lot harder than he does. You know, like, Cold Obsidian when he's ramped up and all that stuff. But Cold Obsidian isn't immune to bleed, you know. Cold Obsidian isn't um, an easy champion to obtain in the most most aspects. Um, let's see if we can finish him right here. We need crits, though. Nah, never mind. We need a, we need a big crits all the way through. That was a... That was a long, that was a long shot, but yeah, he's obviously way better than he used to be, so. I'm not gonna lie, he gets pretty repetitive playing with him, so he's not like super fun to play with, but he gets the job done, and honestly, it's super satisfying. If you play any champion that involves um, just parrying and heavying, he does rely a lot on the heavies, or the parry, so. Ooh, that would have been a big finish. I'm sure you've all seen his special one uh, animation. It changed. It changed a while ago, though, so that's nothing new. Big finish. Off a crit. Nope. Not quite. Let's finish off the way. Ooh. I didn't realize, but it looks like there's recoil when you parry someone with him now. So they take a little bit of damage. But 171 hits. It's alright, you know. Imagine bringing Colossus into that fight before the buff, you know. It would be absolute garbage. Like he would be, he would be, probably in the three or four hundred hits. So he's way better, way better than he used to be. Um, I mean, we could take him into another fight, but I don't think it's worth it. Honestly, um, you kind of see everything that there is to show right there. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had a crystal opening video, and I completely screwed that up. I didn't. I wasn't recording the entire time. All I got out of that was a 5-star Phoenix, which was my big 5-star pull, off of reaching level 60. Finally. Woo! Yep. And we got some new 4-stars. We got one 4-star off of daily crystals, which is pretty cool, because that doesn't happen very often. But, um, yeah, not, it wasn't too, too bad overall, you know. We got a 4-star Sentinel, but I didn't need it, because I just got the 5-star Sentinel. And then another thing we did was we went to our champions, and I said, who should I rank up? Because I had a lot of people I could have ranked up. And I decided to go with Guillotine 2099, because I had, she could be maxed in a second. So I just said, you know what, screw it, let's, let's keep her going. She's got double immunity, she hits really, really hard when she's at the 100 hit combo. And uh, 4 stars are still very viable for me. So, yeah, she's going to have a lot of utility, and I think that's great. So we decided to take Guillotine 2099 all the way up. So she has joined my ranks as one of my top tier champions. So, you'll see a lot more of her in my videos. Woo! Anyways, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, I always do this. Um, as you can see here, approximately, we're at 6,400 six stars, uh, 7,500, 7,600 almost uh, five star shards, and we just spent all these, so that's kind of trash, but I've barely even touched the new monthly event quest, just a little bit, I haven't even completed it yet, so once I go through and complete that, and I 100% it, and I continue doing these... Uh, fantastic invasions and doom invasions we're gonna have a six star five star by the end of the month uh, more five stars for sure but we're gonna have a at least another our second six star champion probably not. maybe not maybe not we'll try we'll try we might we might um, but yeah that's the plan for the month so keep on the lookout I'm definitely gonna be doing a guillotine 299 video as well uh, just to see how hard she can hit I'll probably take her into realm of legends as well so that we can get the max potential out of her. That'll be a little longer video because the first fight takes forever, just like Aegon, every other champion that ramps up like that. But after that, she just melts everybody. So, yeah, we'll check it out, see how it's going. Anyways, appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.